All right, thank you so much. And as Florida braces for Milton, Hoosiers are still helping with recovery efforts from Hurricane Helene, mm -hmm. which will which hit the southeast hard two weeks ago. Rich Nye is here with an update on where and how Indiana is stepping up to help again. Boy, they've got a huge mission ahead of them, Rich. And we start with Task Force One. We've got an update on where they're headed now. Mm -hmm. We just learned this afternoon that Indiana Task Force One is being reassigned from Hurricane Helene to Hurricane Milton. The group of first responders specializing in search and rescue left Indianapolis two weeks ago and first went to Florida to wait for Helene to strike. But when the rains and flooding caused Helene mass destruction in the mountains of North Carolina, Task Force One was sent there. And that team is now traveling to Georgia to stage outside of the Milton target zone and prepare for deployment to the areas as needed once that storm passes through. Meantime, Indianapolis FOP President Rick Snyder is on his way back from Asheville, North Carolina, after serving with a group of chaplains, helping law enforcement officers and people in small communities in the mountains. Snyder says first responders often overlooked when natural disasters strike. A lot of times folks, they realize that the communities are torn apart and folks have had their homes destroyed and whatnot. But a lot of times we forget that the first responders are members of that community and they're facing the same challenges. The only difference is, is that they're leaving all that behind to go out to help everybody else rebuild their lives. It's one of the reasons why that Billy Graham uh, law enforcement ministry got stood up was to be able to go in and help prioritize our first responders, especially our law enforcement officers, to help address what their needs are at home so that they can stay focused on the job. The Indianapolis FOP is now collecting supplies to send to the Asheville, North Carolina area, specifically for police officers and their families, some of who have lost everything. They're collecting those items at the Indy FOP Lodge on Shelby Street, and they especially need non-perishable canned food items, and a semi will be loaded and leave for North Carolina on Saturday. Okay, wow. Well, as awful as this is to see the destruction, it's got to warm your heart to see just how everyday Americans, all the Hoosiers who are helping, and then multiply that by all 50 states. Yeah. Right, and this Task Force 1, Think about it now, they've been out there two weeks. That's yeah. normally about the length of their normal assignment, and now they're preparing for a brand new assignment with this new hurricane. Wow. Yeah. All right, Rich and I reporting this afternoon. Thank you. Thanks.